This is Christian Posta from Solo.io, and in this series of short videos, we're going to take a look at some of the new security features that came out with Istio 1.5 release. Actually, if you go to Istio and click on News and some of the release announcements, you can see that um, not only was 1.5 released recently, 1.5.1 was released today, and that comes with some fixes for um, multi-cluster and Helm 3 and some other bugs that, that were discovered, including a security advisory. What we're going to take a look at today is the security, the new security API that was introduced around automatic MTLS for the service mesh and explicitly setting MTLS authentication and using JOT tokens to uh, to build authorization policies around and, and so forth. So without more ado, let's take a look at our demo here. So this is a live demo and I have a little script here to help me type as you may notice from some of my demos, um, but this is a live demo. What we're going to look at is a set of services, a chain of services really, where web calls a recommendation service, which then calls a purchase history service. And we can see some of those workloads here. Now, when we call the, the in, Istio Ingress Gateway in this case, we can see the chain of services. We can see that web right here ended up calling recommendation, which then ends up calling purchase history. Now, I also happen to be writing a book, Istio in Action, and I'm using these examples in the book, and uh, it is, you might notice the Istio in Action domain here. So let's try to capture the traffic between web and recommendation, so that first hop. And to do that, we're going to use the really awesome KSNF tool that is a Kubernetes or kubectl plugin. And we can see down here that it is capturing traffic on the web API workload as it talks to the recommendation service. So let's send some traffic. We'll send, we'll make a couple of requests here. Okay. And now let's find Wireshark and let's go open up that that PCAP file that we just created. I believe it's this one. And what we can see here that without any configuration, uh, completely out of the box, Istio 1.5, that uh, this application data, these segments here, these are encrypted. And actually, following the, the doc here, uh, this is this is the auto MTLS feature. I didn't enable anything, and um, as soon as I installed Istio, I was able to take advantage now of the of the auto MTLS. And in this case, we can see the traffic flowing over the service mesh is encrypted. Now let's take a look at how this auto MTLS kind of works and how we can use it to slowly move workloads over into Istio without requiring TLS and MTLS if those workloads are not ready for it. So let's take a look at this demo. So again, we'll take a look at the workloads that we have here. And what we're going to do is from a sleep pod, actually, let's come back here. I went too fast from the sleep pod what we're going to see here is that we don't have an Istio sidecar running next to that one. Okay, so if we make a call from sleep to recommendation, we're not participating in the mutual TLS because we're not going through the Istio sidecars. But you can see when we execute this against and you know we go into the sleep container call recommendation, you can see the call still succeeds. And you might be wondering, well, how's that 
How's that possible? Let's let's take a look. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to capture the traffic as it goes from the sleep container to the recommendation service. And let's do the same thing. Let's send some traffic. And we see that it succeeds. So let's open up that uh, PCAP file now. Should be captured too. And if we look in here, we see that we can tell, we, we, we can see the HTTP requests here. Um, and they're in plain text. And so what we know out of this and one of the Istio features is that by default, the auto MTLS will create MTLS connections where it can, but it will not block plain text connections. And that is very handy when you're migrating workloads over into the service mesh. Now you might find that uh, once you have the workloads moved into and migrated over to the service mesh that you want to enforce TLS and MTLS and you don't want anybody to be able to talk plain text. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look at the new peer authentication API, which allows us to be very fine grain about how we apply the strictness of the, the TLS requirement. We can do it by specific workload, we can do it by namespace, or we can do it by uh, the, the full mesh. So let's apply this peer authentication policy. And then what we're gonna to try to do now is from the sleep container call recommendation. And now we're in strict MTLS mode. And the sleep container doesn't have, isn't part of the service mesh, doesn't have the sidecar proxy. So now when we call it, we should see that it fails. There we go. Now, what we could do is migrate this workload over. In this case, we'll inject the Istio sidecar proxy. We'll give that a moment to come about. Uh, we see the new one starting. And actually, let's just, before we keep going, and make sure, all right, so that one's up. The old one is terminating and it'll continue to terminate. I think that should be fine. Now, when we log into the sleep container, we should see and, and try to call recommendations. We should see, oh, we should see it succeed. Uh, this could just be because the sleep container is still coming up. Let's, let's try it again. Mm. One more time. What do, what is going on here? Well, now you can see me debug this. So if we come over here, let's grab this kubectl exec and Istio, oh no, no, we want to do it from sleep. And let's just say curl localhost. Let's just see what it does there. All right, so it does try to, so what are we doing wrong here? It's the correct pod name. Oh, that looks weird right here. Let's try calling recommendation and it succeeds. And that is because we're going through the Istio sidecar proxy on the sleep side, which is then, you know, now we've in, in, enforced strict MTLS and now we're calling the recommendation service and it's all, it's all good. Stay tuned for the next video, be a little bit shorter, um, where we look at the JOT authentication.